How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to Animation vs. Physics by Alan Becker. Alright man, I'm super excited to get back into Alan Becker's stuff, as I always am, man, because like, it's just something so special that he does in his animations, man. He just takes this idea, like, for instance, like stick figures in Minecraft, you know, he takes like a little tiny idea of like these basically revolve around the stick figures and just inserts them into like, either inserts them into a world or have something from our world and in, like insert into theirs, you know, like it's just really, really fascinating and cool and like, I don't really care like what they interact with at this point, you know, like they interacted with the freaking math at the other one that I reacted to, you know? So, like, this one, them interacting with, like, physics and stuff, it only makes the most logical sense forward, you know? So, I'm just really, really excited. Yeah, well, I can't even talk, but <laughs> really excited to get this going, man. Because, like, the possibilities are, like, endless, man, at this point. Knowing Alan Becker, like, it's probably going to go, like, totally left field where I have no idea, like, the possibilities are out there, you know? It's just really, really wacky stuff. So, without any further ado, here's Animation versus Physics. Whoa, okay. <laughs> They're not freaking strong in the vast nothingness of space oh there's something is it the end a hyperbolic time chamber oh oh we're already starting hey right, let's see how fast you can piece this together velocity Oh, it's exactly like the math one, man. Let's go. It's just like, oh yeah, this is my playground now. Oh, he's getting it. Keep going. Keep going. He discovered acceleration. Oh, friction. You didn't have friction, man. You just gonna keep on going. Who dropped that? <laughs> Dude, that's so awesome, man. It's just words on a page and a stick figure messing with a ball. But this is the coolest thing. Oh, let's go! What's over there, though? It's gray. I don't trust that. It's ice. Oh my god. How wacky is this gonna be, though? Like, in all honesty. <laughs> oh. There is a malevolent god that is enjoying everything this guy's doing. Hey, oh. I'm more concerned about who's helping him, though. Now that question is in my brain. But he be smarticles. Hey! Now you essentially do what Spider-Man does. Oh. Now you're Thor. Okay! We got the momentum going. Could do no wrong. You could've went the other way, but whatever. New possibilities! <laughs> God, just their wackiness. Like, I love it. The adventures they go on and everything, man. Literally nothing like it. Oh, now he started Indiana Jones. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Hi. Got more random string. <laughs> Let's go. That's beautiful. Oh. Oh. Let go. There we go. Come on, you got this dog! <laughs> <laughs> He'll learn. He'll slowly get there. Yeet yourself. Yes! Dude, the freaking music in the background, everything is so perfect. GG, my man. Now you got the big screen. That's a rocket. I see it. We kind of escalated a little quickly. He needs to graduate a couple more steps before we get to rocket science. I mean, he has the basically everything he needs, right? You know what? Throw a rocket at him. He's got this. 
God, just, I know I said it before, man, but there's the music swelling and everything. It's so perfect. Man's going good. It. It's like the prize is just right out of reach, man. Let's go! I guess he would have came back down. I was gonna ask, like, oh, that's a planet. How did you get there, my man? How'd you get in any situation you're in? Let's be honest here. Oh, you got the magic touch? Oh, th no. This just opens up a new can of ever. Cowboy hat. Okay. It's like the one I picked in Spider Man 2. Okay, th that's the sun, right? <laughs> He's just going towards the sun. Hey, there's the tree! Is that Salad Fingers house? Let's go, man. It's like, well, I'm here. Houston, we do not have a problem. It's feeding me all this information, man. Tiny peanut brain. Just thank you, Kurtz, to get, though. In all honesty, man. I wouldn't have... There's stuff hiding in the shadows. He said, it's space, right? Hey, speed of light. It's like, can I use that? Whoa! Infrared, let's go! Oh, now we're getting a solar star. <laughs> We're actually gonna do the physics of a solar system, man. Misa thinks we are. Oh, but he's he's not afraid, man. He's ready. He's legitimately going towards the sun, though. I'm a little concerned. There it is. Wasn't expecting it to be that detailed. You can see the freaking solar flare. Uh oh. Anything, something. Can't fault them for trying. Oh no. He's just gonna keep getting closer. Oh my man. Used a trajectory of its own freaking gravitational pull. <laughs> Matt, stop! Man, I think you're at your limit and you just keep going. I mean, matter of respect, you gotta be like a smart boy just to like do this in general, man. Just animate this. Like, obviously, you have to know what you're doing. Oh, yes. Oh, it's like a cork. Hello? Power pole extend? Oh. Oh, he's gonna get all kinds of wacky stuff. Oh. Is that warp drive, essentially? <laughs> Magnetize the pole. You're so smart! Who taught orange? He's literally just playing in this playground, understanding stuff by himself. Mad respect. I get ready to eat. Through all of them. I hope so, anyway. Ah, oh, with the piano, dude. Every musical cue is on point. How is he not getting whiplash? So close to becoming my background. Oh no. I was gonna make a joke about breaking the space time continuum, but he might be doing it.
Is this confirmed stuff, by the way? I can't get over that. That's like black hole level, dude. It's so pr- I think I'm smart. I'm not bad. Oh, that is beautiful. I always love the way black holes look in like any media. Like, I don't care. Obviously, I haven't seen one. Dude. It sh shot right up there, didn't it? Oh, man. Oh, apple? Don't try to get that. Curiosity would get the better of me, man. Not gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> the ye. This is like borderline Kurtzdiat video, man. You didn't have that really awesome guy narrating. We have orange. Now what, though? Hey. Oh, what are you? There's the apple. <laughs> oh, this is trippy. Oh, you're not supposed to get the apple. Oh. Yeah, he is going up, right? Or down? Okay, turn. There's the spaghetti. Okay. This is the stuff I'm familiar with. The black hole. Oh, apple. Apple. Oh. Apple. Stim. Stop, dude. Oh, my brain can't take this much science. I'm not even gonna try to comprehend what's happening, man. I know he's inside a black hole and like physics out the window, but what's gonna happen when he gets to singularity? Oh. Like no man's sky, man, constantly trying to get to the center. Uh, uh, hi? Thank you for giving me all these, like, maps and stuff, man. Diagrams, I should say. They're not all maps. You? It was me, Barry. I broke physics. Oh, a spider web. Hi. Apple! We gonna get Sir Isaac Newton up in here? Oh. What do you mean dimension six? I don't even know the fourth dimension. Dude, my brain is like shattered at this moment, man. Does I don't. Even, I'm not even a good question, man. I was gonna say, does physics actually work like this? Because eventually it could. <laughs> oh my god, I love shit like that. Oh my god, dude. You got my answer. Who was helping him? He was helping him! And then you have full circle, baby. That's. Oh my god! That's so smart! 
That's so smart. everything. I'm trying so hard not to just like yell out in anguish. Not even anguish. This is just, this is the most beautiful freaking work of storytelling I have ever seen, my man. It's pretty cool, man. I cannot fathom what this is, though. It's like, you're ready. I trained you well. You kind of have to stay here. One of us has to stay here unless we're, we break the space-time continuum. That's freaking dumb, dude. That is so trippy. Like, oh my god. I know I say dumb, but like, that was the most... Oh, I don't know. My brain is literally mush, man. I cannot comprehend. That is so beautiful, though, man. From start to finish, dude. That's... Oh my god. You turned that wackiness meter up to an 11, broke it, and then just kept going, dude. I know I said that, but you just keep going. I can't. All right, man. He just, Alan Becker, he just keeps one-upping himself, man. And I literally cannot fathom how he does it, how he continues to process. Like, it's wacky, man. Like, I thought the math one was, like, going to be the extent of, like, the whole, like, science-y thing. You know what I mean? Like, it, animation blends with science and stuff like that like i love stuff like that that's why i love in a nutshell so much but like for him to like keep going at it like i just to do physics like physics alone man like that is just just some crazy stuff out there you know that like you could teach yourself and like the more you learn the like, like rocket science like you could get to that level you know and like orange was in that process with or we were in that process with orange you know it's just so freaking awesome how you have that like journey like in front of us like what for like it was only 16 minutes but man it felt like a freaking i, I don't know like a shared experience of a lifetime with orange you know it's just all in all so good dude i cannot fathom like how he does that like how he has it probably just comes up with like just an idea and he's like all right and he just lets his brain work man and like the other side of this is like the actual like equations and stuff like that like you have to be a smart cookie just to know that you know like to have it in your animation to begin with you know so like that is a whole nother layer of like freaking awesomeness on alan becker's part you know and like i know he has a team of people like working with him and stuff like that but but still dude it's just it's amazing like the creativity alone man this thing just this video alone bleeds creativity from alan becker and like everyone that's worked on it dude it's just I, i'm so I'm flabbergasted dude like i cannot comprehend like i know i keep saying that i can't comprehend this but i literally can't dude like it, it just started off with like stick figures man like stick figures on a desktop and then venturing into minecraft and then like doing math and now physics and stuff like that dude you like it doesn't stop and i love that about it you know like you have this like niche thing of just stick figures but you're like okay well let's branch upon that let's make it like the craziest freaking thing we've ever seen or done or anything like that you know it's just awesome man i'm gonna stop praising it at this point but man i cannot get enough of this stuff so thank you everybody so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day early and check out the merch so with that said i've been master zero that has been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days